Okay, you can see all of our elephant ears over here. They've kind of died back for the winter. <clears throat> Look how they just, they just fall over and we'll chop them and let, let them kind of go back to the, uh, <clears throat> back to the ground to make some more nutrients. But you can see we got a few over in here that are still, they're still alive. And I thought, you know what? <clears throat> I might take and dig up a couple of these little ones uh, and pot them up and bring them inside. Okay, so I'm back here in the greenhouse. I went ahead and dug up a few uh, of the uh, elephant ears from over there <clears throat> that were still alive. I thought I'd go ahead and pot them up and take them in the house uh, to keep them alive through the winter just for fun. So, elephant ears are actually a really pretty house plant, too. <clears throat> so, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and just pot these up. Come along, watch with me as I do that. See what, it, what we end up with here. Now, <laughs> you can see there's a couple of them. This one here is pretty, pretty big roots with that. So I'm going to have to put that one in a gallon size pot here. <clears throat> I'm just going to stuff. You know what? These, um, these roots here, I could probably cut those roots off and just grow the roots into new plants. I'm not all that energetic today, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stick them down in there and let them grow. I'm still fighting this COVID thing. Been right at about two weeks now. I've had, had a fever every day for, I think, 12 days. Uh, and then for the last couple days, I've not had the fever. And... Um, so I'm glad the fever's gone out here in the greenhouse, trying to, trying to, you know, just get back into the groove of life again, I guess. And I uh, came out for, I think about 20 minutes earlier this morning and um, went back in just for a minute and I ended up sitting down. Man, I fell asleep. I, I was just like out again and I didn't even mean to, it just, this thing takes it out of you. So anyhow, I'm, it's, I don't know, maybe two in the afternoon again. I'm out here. I just thought I'd walk. <laughs> I actually just walked outside the back door and saw that I still had some elephant ears still alive. I thought, you know what? I think I'll just dig some of them up. And uh, so I ran and grabbed the tripod. Thought, man, maybe I can do a, do a quick video. Not too much effort. Just a quick little little thing. I don't know a whole lot about elephant ears. I don't know the exact variety of these. I know there's two different types. There's the alocasia and a colocasia. This type is a colocasia, but there's hundreds of different of each ones of those. And anyhow, I'm just going to kind of pot some of these up. And I think I'm going to take them in the house. I've got that little rack in the house where I'm growing stuff in there. So I'll just set these here for now to kind of stay out of the way. Now that one there, small enough, I think I can use one of my smaller pots here. So, in fact, you know what? This here, I don't know if I can fit that. I think, let me try to fit it in there. If I can fit it in there, I will. Otherwise, I'll just cut it off. It'll be all right.
So I don't know. If, well, let me, you know, let me show you what I've got going on here with my bench. Uh, I kind of, I don't think I've so really shown you yet how this is working out. Where I put these uh, grates. I've got my my tubs of my potting soil. I got uh, seed starting mix. I got mulch or compost. I mean. But these two here are both actually just potting soil and I can pull them out so I can get into the edge of the thing here. But then I can take and right up above there, I can just work on it and let it fall. Let it fall right onto the, the metal grate. It falls right back into the tub. Man, that's just like slicker, slicker than snot on a door doorknob. <laughs> Working out pretty good. I'm really liking that. All right, so you know what? Here's one that's got some roots that's just, um, I think I am just gonna stick that in a pot by itself and see what happens. I've experimented like this before with these things and I'm always amazed at how, how much these, um, these things will just take off and grow. It's kind of fun to mess with. Um, this is kind of probably kind of big for this little pot, but so I think what I'll do, I'm, I am just gonna I'm gonna cut this root off of there. This extra root that's just kind of well. Let me see. Let me see how much I can get it. If I can get it to spin around in there, maybe we'll be all right. This this is where it'll send up more shoots for for new baby elephant ears. So if I can get it to spin around in there and stay alive, yeah, I think it might. <laughs> now if I can get some potting soil to fit in there. Oh, yeah, that'll be all right. Stuff some of that down in there. Leaf. Pull that little leaf out of there. All right. see that one that one got hit by the frost that leaf there so we'll get that thing cut off of there once they start once they the leaves go bad whether like like if they break or whatever you're better off to just get them cut out of the way so that the plant doesn't have to try to put any effort towards trying to repair it really nice for just in, some inside plants and then other, then they'll be growing up pretty decently in the spring as plants to try to sell
I'm just going to cut that thing off of there. That's plenty of roots there for, for that size plant. flat so I can carry them inside. Well, it didn't come out even. I've got this one big one that's not gonna fit in here. I got three empty spots in this flat. What would an OCD person do about that? Probably I'm going to have to fill that in with something. So, but anyhow, for right now, I'm not. <clears throat> I'm just going to leave it be. I'm going to carry it in just like that. So anyhow, I just thought I'd uh, bring you guys along with me for that. Uh, get my thumbs dirty a little bit. Always remember, keep your thumbs dirty. Or don't keep them dirty. I mean, you know, come on and take a bath every once in a while, you know. <laughs> but get your thumbs dirty. Get out there, play in the dirt. Have some fun. <clears throat> um, anyhow, that is all. I am going to just call this that it on this video. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll catch you on the south side. God bless. <laughs>